What is going on, everybody? I'm Jabby Kawai, joined by Haley Seats. Can't be beat. <laughs> and we're watching Elf. This is my first time watching this film, as well as Haley mostly. <laughs> she's it's been a long time. <laughs> she's got vague recollections of it, so it's mostly a first time watch for her, but definitely a first time watch for me. And so it's starring Will Ferrell and a, a friend of mine, uh, may he rest in peace, uh, Ed Asner. Oh. And so, yeah, very much looking forward to finally watching this. If you guys are watching with us on YouTube, you're seeing a cut down version of our reaction because we can only show a limited amount of picture in picture, but if you'd like to watch the entire thing with us without any cuts or interruptions head over to our patreon page or become a member of this channel you'll get access to the full uncut reaction you'll just need your own copy of the film so you can open it up side by side with our reaction we give you a three two one countdown sync and it's like you're watching it with two of your favorite buddies from the internet if you're watching with us on Patreon, our memberships already. Thanks so much for supporting us here. If you're watching with us on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and pretty please vote this up. Let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. Here we go. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Very excited to get the Christmas here. spirit. Oh, hello. You're, uh, you're probably here about the, uh, the story. Elves love to tell stories. I bet you didn't know that about elves, is it? <laughs> it's the profession that every elf aspires to. And that is to build toys in Santa's workshop. Only two weeks left till Christmas. It's a job only an elf can do. See the size of those Monopoly boxes? <laughs> As you may have guessed, that's where our story begins. Oh, I didn't realize it was John Favreau. It's time to go to sleep. Maybe by next Christmas you'll have a home. Is there no other kids in this orphanage? Is it just him? That's a good question. <laughs> like, I don't see anybody else. Oh, he wants it. Ooh. He wants it. The kid get out? I, I didn't see him. Oh, he's definitely. Oh, he, he lowered it. That's a smart baby uh, right he there. Figured it out. He's a magic baby. What in the name of Sam Hill is that? Does everyone freak out and run? Oh, nope. I thought it was gonna be like a Monsters Inc. moment where everyone just loses their mind. He must have snuck into your sack at the orphanage. What do we do? So. Santa had a decision to make. Of course, when it comes to babies, Santa's a it's an advanced baby. So, Buddy stayed with a. It's from the future. He'd been so committed to building toys, he, well, had forgotten to to settle down. Santa. There's no Mrs. Claus. Yes, yes, I I raised Buddy. There's room for everyone on the nice list. Number three. The best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear. I like how they don't, like, give him anything bigger to sit on. They're just like, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to be a little bit short on today's quota. It's all right, buddy. Just how many extra sketches did you get finished? One. Eighty-five? Everyone's offended. That's a good amount. Puts you 915 off the pace. Oh, wow. I'm the worst toy maker in the world. I'm a cotton headed ninny muggins. <gasps> oh, how dare he say that? <gasps> we all just have different talents, that's all. Seems like everyone else has the same talents except for me. You, you, have, you have lots of talents. Uh, special talents, in fact. Like, uh,. Uh, I thought this scene was going to play totally <laughs> different. I thought they were going to bully him. <laughs> They're too cheerful. Yeah. You're just special. Oh. And so, Buddy was sent where the, the special elves work. <laughs> uh. It's weird how a positive word can be used so negatively. Yeah. You think you can help me pick up the slack on those etches catches? No problem. I appreciate it. Buddy is killing me. I already got Lum Lum and Choo Choo pulling doubles. I feel bad for the guy. I just hope he doesn't get wise. Well, if he hasn't figured out he's a human by now, I don't think he ever will. Oh, God, this whole world's gonna shatter. <laughs> I, 
I told him his father had never even known that Buddy was born. And most importantly, I told him where his father was, in, in a magical land called New York City. My dad works there. This is gonna... Oh, dang, that's rough. I'll always, uh, I'll always be here for you. Oh. Now, uh, go. Get. I feel bad for him. He has such, like, those sad eyes that you're just like, oh. Yeah. No, I, I feel it. James Conn pops. <laughs> oh, that's rough. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, buddy. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, how did he get away with that without having to pay? <laughs> Maybe he has some sort of money. You did it! Congratulations! World's best cup of coffee. Great job, everybody. <laughs> He's like a child. <laughs> He's just taking. God, New York is like the worst place for someone so innocent to end up. <laughs> it's terrible. Mr. Hobbs, it's me on the intercom. Go ahead. Yeah, I think someone sent you a Christmas gram. Dad! All right, uh, let's get it over with. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you came from the North Pole. <laughs> exactly where I came from. His eyes. So, go on. Go on with what? Well, are you going to sing a song or something, or can I just go back to work? A song? Oh, no. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Anything for you, Dad. Uh, I, uh, I'm, I'm here, <laughs> and we never met, and he wants me to sing him a song. <laughs> and um, I was adopted, but you didn't know I was born, so I'm here now. I found you. <laughs> I love you. I love you. You think that was improvised? I th maybe. In my, uh, yeah, they just like go with that's it. That's weird. That's weird. <laughs> it's me, your son. Susan Wells had me, and, and she didn't tell you. Uh oh. And there it is. Susan Wells. You said Susan Wells? Yes. Who sent this Christmas gram? What's a Christmas gram? I want one. I, I think we should call security. Good idea. I like to whisper too. <laughs> it's okay, Walter's my father. Well, your dad's busy right now. Okay, I'll come back later. Yeah, you know, you're not gonna come back for a while, okay? You're gonna go back to Sandland. Okay. Yeah, why don't you go back? You wanna go? Yeah, that, I mean, that is frightening for someone who's never encountered an escalator before. Flexibility right there. <laughs> well, he was a cheerleader on SNL. <laughs> Have you seen these toilets? They're ginormous! Oh, God. <laughs> Special summer. There's like a rated R version of this somewhere where people are just cussing at him. <laughs> like non-stop obscenities. What's this? This is the North Pole. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Okay, people, tomorrow morning, 10 a.m., Santa's coming to town. Santa! Oh, my God! Santa here? <laughs> His face. He's so over it. <laughs> His deadpan expression. Hello. She looks so different. That right there. That's um that, that's, Zoe De Chanel, right? That's, I guess yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 She looks so different with blonde hair. Why are you messing with me? Did Crumpa put you up to this? I'm not messing with you. But this right here is the reason to take up a part-time nice job. Meet another human who shares my affinity for elf culture. <laughs> I'm just trying to get through the holidays. Get through? Christmas is the greatest day in the whole wide world. Please stop talking to me. Uh oh. Sounds like someone needs to sing a Christmas carol. Oh. Jeez. It's time for me to go home. But, 
But Santa's coming. There's so much to do. I'll see you tomorrow. Buddy. Joey. Was this before 500 Days? This is before 500 Days, right? I don't it, know. it has to be. I'm not sure when that one came out. I'm going to eat in the bedroom, okay? I, uh, I got a bunch of stuff to go over. Are you sure? I'm, I'm just way behind a bunch of stuff. Can I eat in my room? No. I got a bunch of homework to go over, and I'm way behind on a bunch of stuff. You're reading here. She's from Back to the Future 3. I don't know if I saw the third one. She's also on other stuff. It's in the first two. Oh. He's just wondering what happened to her. I give him props. That That's a lot of work. <laughs> when does he sleep? He also didn't need food and water when he traveled, so I don't know. No, you're not wrong about that. Yeah. Oh, she's singing? She does sing. That lying wench. <laughs> Why is she there? Oh. Why are there showers? This works. It's New York. New York's weird. But it's like a toy store. <laughs> well, maybe. I don't know. I didn't. I, I haven't ever done a job like that, so I don't know for sure, but. Maybe it makes sense. <laughs> I wish I knew how to break the spell. Um, given how expensive New York is, it would probably make sense to shower at, at the job if that was available. It's cold outside. Get out! Don't look at me! Get out! <laughs> God. <laughs> Hey, you. Hey. Come here. I want to talk to you. Uh-oh. What do you want to talk to me about? How come you were in the women's locker room this morning? I heard you singing. You sure it had nothing to do with the fact that I was naked in the shower? I didn't know you were naked. By the way, I think you have the most beautiful singing voice in the whole wide world. <gasps> Santa. Oh, boy. You think she's gonna corner Will Ferrell in a closet and kiss him? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, you don't get the reference? You never saw 500 Days? No, actually. You haven't seen 500 Days in summer? <laughs> I have not. You can have a good Christmas, alright? You smell like beef and cheese. You don't smell like Santa. Okay. <sighs> Traumatize those kids. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh jeez. Something special. Oh, it's the gift. Oh, they actually got it to him? Like apparently. Oh lord. Because the sign said to What's someone that? special. Intercom. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Hobbs, the police are on line one. Police. Hello? Oh, man. Man, good on those guys. I got 12 pull ups on me one time, <laughs> and that's it. And then I could, it's just diminishing ret after that. I can't even move an inch, so. <laughs> Where'd you get this picture? Papa Elf gave it to me. This, this is some kind of game. What do you want, some money? No, I just wanted to meet you, and I thought you might want to meet me. Come with me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey. Sorry, Ben. I'm just waiting. You please sit still. Please. He got mad at me. Yes, he did. <laughs> Will Ferrell's so committed. <laughs> so committed. He's doing so good. He's gonna oh, break he out. Ow! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm Carolyn. Hi. I wonder how many times they did that. Right. Like, to he find the Christmas. right response. Yeah, I feel like that was just, like, free-for-all, whatever he felt like. 
It's a boy. But he's your son. That's very impossible. He's so smug about it. Yeah. He's probably just reverting to a state of childlike dependency. An elf. What he needs is to be nurtured. You'd like me to breastfeed him? Well, to just bring him home, introduce him to Emily and Michael, and once, once he comes to terms with reality, he should drop the whole elf thing and move on with his life. I mean, that's what I would do if I were you. I traveled to the seven levels of hey, the candy cane forest, past the sea of swirly, twirly gumdrops. <laughs> he took the utensils and oh, turned yeah, them into ornaments. <laughs> Can you pass the maple syrup, please? I I didn't put. It's spaghetti. You know what? I think I have some. Oh jeez. Oh. You like sugar, huh? Is there sugar in syrup? Yes. Then yes. We elves try to stick to the four main food groups. Candy, candy canes, candy corns, and syrup. Oh, God. Grody. I don't want to try it. <laughs> you are weird. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, I want to know if it's good. If you didn't have the marinara in there, or the, I mean the spaghetti sauce, then fine. But meat sauce with syrup? Next time I'll have to try it, I'll let you know. <laughs> he has some serious issues. We can't just throw him out in the snow. Why not? He loves the snow. He's told me 15 times. Walter, he's your son. In the game, I got full health. I got full Michael! armor. I got full. Michael! I don't know. Look the other way. I don't know you. You know that guy? No. I've never seen him before. It's me, buddy! Your brother! Oh, man. <laughs> Michael! Michael! Michael wants Michael. nothing to do with you. I wonder Michael, how hard Michael. this movie was for Will Ferrell. Michael. Like, you gotta stay in... in the... I guess it's not that much of a stretch for him. He plays characters that are weird <laughs> all the time. But it's like... It's like peak child. <laughs> yeah, it is. Mean? High energy. Yeah. Do you have any friends? Do you have a best friend? Does he have a big coat too? Go away! <laughs> Ow! Son of a nutcracker! I've never heard snow that sounded like <laughs> sniper bullets. <laughs> when they came ready. Okay, just start making as many snowballs as you can. Golly, he was, he's quick. <laughs> okay. I can see where Iron Man came from. <laughs> he could play for the Yankees. <laughs> oh, look, now they're friends. Are they playing tag? What do we hope for in the rest of this movie? Like, well, you have to hope that the dad grows to love him, right? But like, his whole thing was to go find his dad, and so far his dad's like, eh. I feel like he's got to go back to the North Pole. There's no way he can cut it. Not in New York. <laughs> well, especially because he doesn't even change. He didn't even change out of clothes. Like, what happens when it's not Christmas season? Uh, this is Michael. I'm his brother. What are you doing here? Did Gimbals give you your job back? No, but things worked out pretty good. They gave me a restraining order. <laughs> do you want to go eat food? Do I, do I want to eat food? Mm-hmm. You know, uh, the code. Come on, translator. Speak on his behalf, kid. <laughs> then I'm free on Thursday. Why? Thursday! Thursday! Come on, that'd oh. be great. Right. Why did why did why would she say yes to that? You tell me she doesn't have options. Come well, on. Well, she doesn't know that he only wears that clothes. I mean, I guess maybe he showed up to a job he has a restraining order from <laughs> in the outfit. <laughs> true. Honey, I can't take off. I'm one one bad pitch away from getting fired. One. Well, I tell you what, I have an idea. Then why don't you? Take Buddy to work with you. Oh, Jesus. Mm. Actually, that's actually a genius plan. Oh, good morning, Mr. Hobbs. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning, Sarah. 
It's a nice purple dress. Very purpley. Francisco. Francisco, Mr. Hobbs. Francisco, that's fun to say. Francisco. <laughs> No, it's the world's best cup of coffee. <laughs> Sorry. You miss. What do you mean I miss? You miss. You make me feel so Oh well damn. <laughs> I know that there's a, a higher population of women in New York, but god dang, like, you could do better, Zoe Deschanel. <laughs> we were thinking uh, something like this. Uh, we open on a young tomato. He's had some tough times down at the farm. You know, rabbits. No. And... Oh, no. Buddy, uh, not now. Uh, can you please go back to the, uh, to the pit? Oh, I'm just going to ruin you, it. Okay? No. I didn't know you had elves working here. Go back to the base pay. Jack Weed. I get more action in a week than you've had your entire life. I've got houses in LA, Paris, and Vail. Oh. Each one of them with a 70-inch plasma screen. He's an angry elf. <laughs> Ow! Hey, what the hell? I wasn't ready for that. He took the money with him. He sure did. You get the hell out of here. Where do you want me to go? I don't care where you go. I don't care that you're an elf. I don't care that you're nuts. I don't care that you're my son. Get out of my life now. We found this in the conference room. What is it? It's Miles Finch's notebook. This thing is chock full of genius ideas. I mean, look at that. <laughs> it's genius. Uh, how much time we got? We got like 45 minutes. Well, come on, let's uh, try to get a storyboard or something ready. Come on, let's do it. Let's try. No, you can't sit down and get a storyboard ready. Go and get a storyboard okay. ready. I would Xerox the shit out of that book before he comes back. <laughs> before I get into the story, uh, let me start with the cover, okay? Now, just picture this. Dad, I gotta talk to you. <laughs> now his other son, person. What? He, he left a note. I'm scared, Dad. He's gone. Oh, let me just finish this uh, meeting and then... Uh... All you care about is yourself. Hey, Michael. We're going to have to reschedule this, uh, Mr. Greenway. We don't have time to reschedule. I want to hear the damn thing now. Son, you'll have to wait. Uh, don't, don't tell Mikey what to do. Uh, can't, can't we do this another time, Mr. Greenway? It is Christmas Eve. If you want to keep your job, Hobbs, you will pitch me this book right now. Hmm. Up yours. Yeah, up yours. Hobbs! Hobbs, you walk out of here and, 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 and you're finished at Greenway! You're finished! <laughs> oh, it's Santa. He's a little early, isn't he? What, did he see it? Buddy, is that you? Are you okay? Boy, am I glad to see you. The clothometer suddenly just dropped down to zero. I need to tell you something. Buddy, no, no, there's something I have to tell you right now. Um, I didn't mean anything I said back there, not, not a word. I know you may be a little um, uh, chemically imbalanced, but you've been right about a lot of things. I, I don't want you to believe You're my son and I love you. Tell me, Michael, what do you want for Christmas? I wanted a skateboard. A real huff board. Looky here. Looky here. How do you like them apples? Just right on top. So magical. <gasps> no. Oh, 
The horses know where the real Santa is. Thank you. Excuse me, the authorities have not discovered any reindeer in the park? No, no reindeer. Sleigh bells? All of those are there. It's him, it's the real Santa. His sleigh won't fly because nobody believes in him. What? Did you see something in the park? Everyone out there? Santa needs us to believe I can prove he's real. Look, this is his list. Oh. Find her name. Carolyn Reynolds wants a Susie Talks a lot. Thanks, buddy. Dirk Lawson wants a day pampering at Burke Williams Spa. <laughs> um, obviously, we have a new development in the story, a, a confirmation that uh, Santa must have been sighted because we have his book right here. <laughs> What's your name? Shoa Denon wants a Tiffany engagement ring and for her boyfriend to stop dragging his feet in committal. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, turn the cameras back on! Who told you to say that? It's the real Santa. We need to get these cameras back on. He needs our help! Hey, Michael, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Buddy, he's, he's in the park with Santa. The sleigh won't fly because there's no Christmas spirit. Michael! Oh, she got there quick. God dang. <laughs> they must live right there. You can't get anywhere in New York <laughs> at all inside of that time. The best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear. Mm-hmm. Number three on the rules of elves. Gotta get by. Get in now. Santa, I'm not done with the engine yet. Can't wait. On this. On this. I'm not done with the engine. If it's not done, how are you going to go? Pop this to the round and get in. <laughs> What are they gonna do? Checking it twice. Gonna find out who's naughty and nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows if you're bad <laughs> She definitely got the assignment. <laughs> It's going up. It's working. It's working. I like how it doesn't take like that much Christmas cheer to get it going. Like, like it's just a small group, and it's like raising it up a good amount. So. <gasps> On the cameras to proof. <laughs> the baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she got a voice. Oh, look at that maple syrup. For a second, I thought that was something else. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've been watching Seinfeld lately, and uh, I just like because I've, I've watched the whole thing, okay. and so I decided to just you know to go back to the beginning again and watch it again, just like in my spare time when I'm eating dinner at home. And uh, I noticed that they changed Seinfeld's father. Uh, after, from the first episode, you know, when they introduced him again in like the fifth or sixth episode. Oh, okay. And I was like, oh, and I looked it up real quick, like why'd they change it? And it's because Larry David and Seinfeld wanted someone who was more edgy and more quick to, uh, temperamental. And so I'm watching this and I'm like, this is very understated in a lot of areas. Okay. Like James Kahn is very understated. Mm -hmm. And uh, even, even uh, um, Buddy's father is just like all understated performances. Cause you like, I feel like if you did this today, everything would be a lot more hyper. Okay. A lot more energy. It's just interesting to like see the difference, the the you know what I mean, the contrast from what it would be now. Like I'm imagining if it was made today, it would have more of a Madagascar kind of energy to it. Okay. You see what I'm I'll saying? Say maybe they didn't want to give them too much energy because of how much energy Buddy the Elf needed. Sure, sure, that, sure. That sure, like absolutely. they were like, we just need to make him seem off the rails. No, absolutely. And, like, yeah, maybe that's why they kind of didn't go more with that. No, I, I yeah. thought that Will Ferrell did a great job. I mean, yeah. 
he was fantastic in this role uh, as that as that character. I mean, he maintained it from start to finish yeah. really well. I want to know like how he kept that energy while on set. Like if he just if he just had a lot of maple syrup or if he I don't know energy drinks because I was like he was constantly like on it like ready to go well I mean he he's a groundlings uh, alumni and he um he comes from the you know SNL world so I guess maybe he's used to, have to having to turn it on and keep it on for like hours at a time given that he was doing SNL yeah um you know like you have those all those sketches that you're going through live um <laughs> and you're training them all week and so uh, up until you go live and then you do it again the next week and so yeah he's well equipped, but I, I, you know, making a movie is obviously different. So I, the, my best guess would be coffee. It's just like insane amounts of coffee to just keep it up. But maybe he's just naturally that energetic. I, do, I mean, I, I'm just going to hold on to my hopes and dreams that it was maple syrup and that spaghetti that you really liked. Mm. Well, I mean, you, you shot you shot with Kristen here. Yeah. Kristen's Kristen does not drink coffee. Oh, okay. She's just her. <laughs> That's just her energy all the time. She's ready and so, to like, go. I, I have a cousin. My cousin Matt is the same way. He doesn't need coffee. He's just okay. constantly. It's it's as if he's coked. <laughs> he's like, you know what I mean? Like, he is constantly at that boom, yeah. boom, 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 like rapid fire energy. I'm like, okay, after about an hour, I'm like, I need, I need a, I just need a five, dude, so I can. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it might be that Will Ferrell's got that. It's yeah. it's impressive. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, like, but for me watching this, I'm like, oh gosh, like I, I would have, I don't want it to have crazy energy like they, like, like mm -hmm. Madagascar, but it would be cool if you could split the difference and get a little bit of the Larry David energy in there, like, you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. I feel like James Con, I just wanted to see more from him because he just felt so kind of yeah, subdued. it was very monotone. Like, yeah, yeah, for kind of both of them, they, yeah, they didn't. It was just very like authoritative, authoritative, mm -hmm. fatherly figure, and then that was just like they weren't very happy. Well, I mean, I guess. Papa Elf was kind of happy, but he wasn't like laughing or anything either. It so it was, no. yeah, it was just very, very flat. So. I, I was fine with Papa Elf as, yeah. a, as an introduction. Mm -hmm. um, like he's cool as like as that character. Um, but I wanted James Caan to be like, if you just swap him with like literally Larry David, mm -hmm. right? There's someone who's a little bit more curmudgeon-y and then you win them over by the end. Yeah. Th that would have been great. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it, it didn't feel like that dramatic of a difference between James Caan who is grumpy and James Caan who is believing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because at the very end, he, I mean, he didn't even want to sing until... <laughs> that, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so so once, once he started, uh, there was a point where James Caan like, actually felt like he had some energy and it was working. But, okay, there was that scene in the boardroom, right? Where his son's like, no, come on, you know, you, you, only, you only think about yourself. That transition, like, it almost felt like it... it yeah, I didn't it, see it. it. It didn't see a lead up to that. Yeah, yeah. it just—it was just like kind of whew, we're moving on to the next thing. I, it almost felt like James Caan didn't want to be there. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, I have no idea what the situation was. I, I like I know he can be an intense person. So, but yeah, like the the oh, but Will Ferrell carried it through. Oh, 100 percent. Um, obviously, and 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 Zoe Deschanel, she was good as that whatever that role yeah. is like she's she's perfectly love suited. interest yeah she's per singer yeah she's perfectly suited to it i wanted to see her go bigger at the end though because like when she saw the the reindeer and and santa oh, claus like, look more like just something it's yeah. like dude you like are you kidding like well, you're maybe she always believed that he was really an elf maybe? i never got that i didn't get that either. i never got I'm just that thinking maybe because like they, they none of them seemed that shocked that santa flew over for them like I would be shook yeah. if somebody yeah so like they were all like oh there he is like that was you know they didn't have that reaction to yeah that. I just needed more energy from certain people mm -hmm. um, but maybe that was by design mm -hmm. you know it's like the, it, it was still <laughs> but like overall I think that it holds up as a, as a fun wholesome story yeah. you know that is, is cool for the whole family honestly you know with it having Will Ferrell I was kind of expecting more risque jokes just like a fully wholesome film. Yeah, because I think it's only rated PG, so they probably didn't want to do, they did, probably didn't want to risk it because then it would l limit the audience probably, because if you got PG-13, then you wouldn't have like little kids watching. <sighs> yeah, I don't know what their, so. I don't know what their aim was. Yeah, because um, I, like, I do feel like this is like, yeah, it's a film for everybody. Like it has like, all age range. So I think they just maybe trying to really make sure they kept that. But, yeah. yeah. It doesn't best my uh, favorite Christmas movie, which is, uh, well, there's two. Okay, what's your favorite? The number one is Die Hard. Oh, okay. And number two is Jingle All the Way. With Arnold, I've with, never seen Jingle All the Way. Oh my God. It has the energy that I wanted out see, of this. See, it's, Christmas Vacation's my like 
Oh, time favorite. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> I need. I haven't watched that. I need to watch it. Oh, watch that one. That one's yeah. great. Yeah, okay, I'll get you to watch Jingle All the Way though. <laughs> but I do love like the. I, I love when like Christmas movies. How at the very end they just like feel so like wholesome and just make you you want to believe in Santa. Mm -hmm. Like you're like, oh my gosh. Like it, I don't know. It fills your heart. Yeah. So I, I do like that. At the end, you still are like uh, the music. The music I think is what really does it. It just yeah. makes you feel like, oh, <laughs> Santa. Well, this comedy. This comedy is like in a pocket of time where you had stuff like this like if you go back and watch beat the parents oh yeah yeah you know it has actually a similar energy it doesn't mm. really get crazy until until uh, uh ben stiller is in police custody going bomb <laughs> bomb 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 but but until he goes until you reach that point in the story it doesn't actually get insane it actually is pretty kind of low-key by today's standards which is just, just like balls to the wall insane with the comedy yeah um and then like you go back and watch something like the first men in black film you compare it to anything from today it's more low-key in terms of its energy with like little spurts of nuts but mostly kind of chilled out comparatively. I kind of prefer that compared to like now. I, I, I prefer kind of, I think that style. There's a happy medium. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I feel like there's a happy medium being lost here, <laughs> but I get what you're saying. Yeah. You know, between the two, I would take the former, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, but I feel like there's a, there's a middle road. I, even Jingle All The Way, I feel like by today's standards, is kind of insane. Like the <laughs> movie is just nuts. Um, but anyway, overall, I, I enjoyed the, the, you know, the enthusiasm of the film and just like the heartwarmingness of it all that Will Ferrell, you know, brought to this. He's he's got a quality to him that perfectly suited this, mm -hmm. and he managed to. I believed him in this role. Like oh, yeah. he he was totally viable <laughs> as this guy who came from the North Pole. <laughs> so, uh, you guys, thanks so much for hanging. Hopefully, you enjoyed that. And uh, Merry Christmas to you. I'm Jabby Coy. This is Haley C. Peace out.